All right. Hey, welcome back to the Book of Acts 101 and Faithful and Feminine Facebook group. So today we are going to be looking into some different steps, seven signs that you are a chosen one. Let's get right into it. So seven signs um, that you are a chosen one. What does a chosen one mean? So a chosen one is a person that God has called and you have answered. So here are seven signs that God has called you. So there is a scripture in the, in the, in the Bible that says, many are called, but few are chosen. And what chosen means is that you actually not only have been are tuned into Christ, but you have responded and you are actively pursuing whatever purpose that he has given to you. So here are seven signs that you are a chosen one. You have a strong sense of purpose. You feel a deep sense of purpose and destiny, believing that God has a specific plan for your life. Um, you've always felt that your life has a unique purpose and you seek to understand and fulfill that purpose through prayer and action. Prayer and action. So that's faith and work. So both of those things are very, very important. So you have to complete both of those. That what That is what makes you a chosen one. Um, you can be called. Many are called, but the chosen one actually do the work that Christ has asked them to do. All right, number two is unusual favor and opportunities. You often find that doors open for you in unexpected ways and you receive opportunities that others might not. An example, you receive an unexpected promotion. You receive unexpected promotions, invitations to lead projects or unique opportunities that align with your passions and talents. Now, you'll notice this throughout your life, like you've had times where you have this feeling, um, not like a arrogant feeling, but just an understanding that you're going to get a position or you're going to get a role or, and, and you know this because the things that have happened up until that point have led you there. Like you've been preparing for this particular thing and it's not like written on a wall or written in, in, in written down anywhere, but you just have this feeling and, and you know that you're going to get this opportunity whatever that opportunity is, it's moving you forward in your life. And that is part of your purpose. So unusual favor and opportunities. Number three is sensual, uh, spiritual sensitivity. So you have a heightened sensitivity um, to spiritual matters and often feel God's presence and guidance in your life, especially in your dreams. You do feel this in your dreams a lot. Like you have spiritual interactions with Christ and he shows you things, tells you things, leads you in the spirit realm. Also, um, spiritual sensitivity is the other way. Also, you're, you are also consistently having spiritual attacks. Um, this is because you have answered the call in your life. And so your experience, you experience moments of profound clarity and direction during prayer and worship and feeling closely connected to God's will. This is so important because the spiritual sensitivity aspect of it is what why you get up out of bed every day because you know that you have a purpose you have a reason to be getting up and it just makes that life that much more purposeful interesting and you, you're more grateful for it all right so number four is endurance through trials despite facing significant challenges you remain steadfast in your faith and emerge stronger, often using these experiences to help others. Um, you've gone through difficult times, but have always found strength and comfort in your faith using these experiences to encourage others. This is um, called spiritual maturity. Um, when you are able to go through a trial without being impatient or um, putting 20 on 10, just going over the top when you're going through a specific trial, even if it's a long-term situation, this is endurance. This is um, spiritual wisdom that God has given you, wisdom and understanding, both about the calling and also about the steps it's going to take to get there. And sometimes there is a, a training period. A lot of it is training. Oh, all right. So the next one is inner transformation. You've experienced a significant transformation in your character and behavior, aligning more closely with Christ's example. So when you are 
seeking to be more like Christ instead of being more of a better you per se, this is when you know that the, this is the inner transformation because you're not trying to be a better you. You really don't know what a better you looks like, but if you are striving to be more like Christ, which is what we're all called to be, this is what you're you're chosen to be, is more like Christ, um, then this is when you start to transform. Um, people notice changes in your attitude, behavior, and outlook, commenting on your increased kindness, patience, and love for others. Also, they'll see it in your countenance, like your whole demeanor changes. And people can tell. People can see it, too. Just ra Even strangers can see this. Unshakable faith. Your faith remains strong regardless of circumstances, and you trust in God's plan even when it's unclear. You face uncertainty with confidence in God's provision and guidance. You consistently lean on your faith in times of doubt this this is important because in the scriptures it says it is impossible to please god without faith so you have to to have this type of faith is impressive i think it's impressive to god to have someone um not be able to tell you something about god and you believe it um, and the next one is confirmation through prophecy or revelation. You've received prophetic words, dreams, or revelations that confirms God's special calling and choosing and choosing of you. You've had dreams for um, dreams or received prophetic messages from others that align with your sense of purpose and confirm God's calling on your life. Now, one thing about receiving prophetic messages for from other people, um, you always have to confirm that if that is a message for you. And you need to do that with fasting and prayer because not every prophecy is for you. Not that people are lying. People may not be lying. They may be lying. But but what if that prophecy is a true, but it's not true for you? So it's important to always confirm that with the Father. Confirm that with Jesus Christ. Confirm that with the Holy Spirit. Confirm that with them so that you know for sure that that particular prof prophecy is for you so that you can move forward. All right, so recognizing these signs can provide assurance and direction as you navigate your calling and purpose, whether it's stepping into leadership or embracing your identity as a chosen one. These indicators can guide you on your journey, helping you live out God's plan for your life with confidence and faith. And when I say God, I specifically mean Jesus Christ. OK, so thank you for your time today. If you do have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. Um, I also have some information below you where you can reach me for prayer if you need prayer. And also uh, join us in our Facebook group, Faithful and Feminine. All right. See you guys in the next one. Bye.